What's going on, Bigger Pockets? This is Matt Faircloth. So, today I want to talk to you guys about how to make people, private money lenders specifically, a millionaire by working with you in your business. And that all happens through something called the Rule of 72. Now, we're going to talk about this here quickly on, on the whiteboard, but there's a deeper conversation about this in my book, Raising Private Capital, that just got released through Bigger Pockets. So, make sure you check that out, okay? So, here's how this goes. This concept works best. It doesn't have to work. It doesn't have to be this way, but it works best if you're dealing with a self-directed IRA, which is a retirement account that allows people to invest their retirement uh, money into all kinds of vehicles, such as real estate loans. Okay. What makes this great for the, the millionaire calculation is that this is a tax-deferred vehicle. Okay. Now, meaning that whatever income they make gets doesn't get taxed, right? So at the end of the year, they don't have to go write a check to the IRS for whatever they make on the for whatever interest you pay them on their money. Now, if it's not through self-directed IRA, if somebody's investing with cash, they do have to shave off a little portion of their income every time and pay the IRS, pay tax on the money. But a self-directed IRA is all tax deferred. They don't pay money. They don't pay tax until they take it out. That's why this is a great vehicle for real estate loans. Okay, um, now. The what's great about uh, about stuff to write. Let me talk about like let's transition to 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 why that that is and how to get into the rule seventy two. It allows you to do something called compounded interest. And Einstein, who came up with this, called it the eighth wonder of the world. He also said that people that understand interest get it. That people that don't understand interest pay it. Okay, so he said a lot of things on com on interest and how it compounds and can create millionairedom um, through just knowing the rules. Um, so compounded interest works like this. Let's say you have a loan, okay? And this is a self-directed IRA loan on a, on a piece of real estate that you're the investor on and you have a private money lender that invested in that deal. Um, let's say that loan is for 100K, okay? And you're paying a 10% interest rate on the money, okay? The loan's for exactly one year, and for the simplicity of these calculations, you need to run with me for that. But I get that deals are not exactly one year. They're probably faster than a year. You can get you can get a fix and flip or a burr property done in faster than a year, which what the good news for you is that if you can get this done faster than a year, then everything we're gonna talk about compresses and you can make these people millionaires faster. But the answer for, for the interest of this conversation, we're gonna make this a one year loan, okay? Okay, so hundred thousand bucks for ten thousand uh, for ten percent uh, for one year. That means that at the end of one year, you owe them one hundred and ten thousand dollars. Okay, pretty straight up, right? Okay. Now the compounded interest works like this. They then take at the end of the year, they then take that that hundred and ten k and they put it back into another loan with you. So you've got this is loan number one, and then you've got loan two. That's a second loan in year two that this 110K gets put into that loan, okay? Then you go and borrow that again for another flip or for a burr property or for whatever it is, and you just keep handing that money back and forth over and over again, and it's important for them to take every, all the interest that they give you and reloan it into your next deal because that allows all this $10,000 this $10, in interest all starts earning interest, earning interest on top of itself. That's what compounded interest is. It's taking interest that somebody earns and then reinvesting it so they can earn that earn that interest rate on top of interest that they get. So it's like making money on top of their profit, making profit on their profit. Okay. So that's what compounded interest is. Got it. Okay. So all right. It's all right. Now the way the seventy the rule seventy two works like this. If you have a compounded interest loan, it's exactly described like this. It's at ten percent when you're loan, whatever it is, you take the number 72 and you divide it by the interest rate of that compounded interest loan for a loan that's compounded every year. You know, uh, you take the interest rate. So let's say for conversation's sake, you keep running with this and it's 10%, okay? You come up with what that equals. That's 7.2, right? That 7.2 is how many years it will take that money right here, the sign of K, to double, okay? So that $100,000 doubles in 7.2 years. That's pretty cool. But like I said, that's if it were for a year, okay? If you did a flip every six months, 
this compresses. If you take the money and reborrow it every in a tighter time frame, this compresses as well. Okay, so super basic, but that's how this goes. So let's run through a real scenario and let's talk. Let me show you how to make somebody a millionaire using this concept we talked about. Okay, so let's say you got uh, your friend Steve that you went to high school with, uh, and here's you say something like, "Hey, I'm investing in real estate," and Steve says. Man, I sure wish I could invest in real estate too, but I just don't have the time. And you say, hey Steve, let me show you something really cool. So you got Steve's money, and Steve is 30 years old, and he has a self-directed IRA that has $100,000 in it, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool, and Steve, to make this work, does not have to invest another dime into his IRA, and this is assuming that you do deals with Steve that only that go exactly one year. Again, Steve could put more money into his IRA to expedite this, and you guys could also figure out a way to do deals faster than a year, and you could expedite and collapse this really fast too, okay? So, here is Steve's age, and here is his retirement account, how much money he's got, okay? Starting at year one, Steve's 30, and he's got 100K, okay? Plus seven, when Steve's 37, he's got 200,000. Because he doubled, right? He doubled up, 7.2 years, double that, $200,000, okay? All right, now, let's make Steve 44 years old. He's now got 400,000, okay? Now, that, that 200,000 doubled again, not bad, okay? Let's make Steve 50, that 44 plus seven, 51, okay? He's now got $800,000, and this should, this curve, I'm not drawing this curve the right way, but it's actually supposed to, it'll actually look like this, okay? Um, that's called an exponential curve. That's what it really should look like. Um, but hey, for the interest of time here, this is just kinda, you know, and then 800,000, by the time he's 58, by the time he's 65 at retirement, let's see, 237, 44, he's got 400,000 at 51, he's got 800,000, I'm sorry, and then at 58, he's got 1.6 million, okay? And then at 65 years old, he's got $3.2 million, okay? So, 1.6, and then $3.2 million, which is a crazy amount of money. This is probably all the way down here, you know, down the wall, if this were to scale, um, but this, is how you create millionairedom and 3.2 million. You should put your pinky next to your mouth next to your mouth when you say that. 3.2 million bucks is what you created with an <clears throat> with an investment of $100,000 doing deals one deal a year. Steve puts no more money into his deal into into his IRA to make this happen. What I get this is super conservative and the interest rates change and a lot of things change, but what I want you guys to take to take away with is because of compounded interest and because self-directed IRAs are tax deferred, this is an awesome, awesome equation for Steve to build his wealth. And he's doing it without relying on Wall Street. He's doing it without with collateral because you're putting mortgages on your property. So he has he has security in his in his money. And he also does it doesn't matter what the stock market does because he still has interest in your property that you can pay him the interest back and keep rolling this over and over again, right? So this is compounded interest, this is the rule of 72, and this is how you guys make multi million. By the way, he's a multi-millionaire, not just a millionaire. He was a millionaire when he was um, at 58, but by the time he retires from his job that he loves, he's, he's got 3.2 million to put into work, or probably more than that, okay? so. That's it. Now, I want you guys to leave some comments below because I, I want to get into a conversation with you guys on how uh, we as real estate investors can create wealth for people. That's what this is. And the book that I wrote, Raising Private Capital, is all about creating win-win situations and making people that work with you extremely wealthy through win-win situations and rules like the Rule of 72. So leave a comment below so we can chat about that. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a great profitable week.